one bad paragraph does not a 900-page report negate. This is what a UN panel change says about a disputed section of a 2007 report. The paragraph among research by the Nobel Prize winning Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says the Himalayas, the Himalayan glaciers are melting faster than those of other mountain ranges and could be gone by 2035. Now scientists recently flagged that paragraph. The IPCC now admits it found no science to back it up. The IPCC issued a statement saying the disputed paragraph refers to poorly substantiated estimates of rate of recession and date for the disappearance of Himalayan glaciers in drafting the paragraph in question. The clear and well-established standards of evidence required by the IPCC procedures were not applied properly. IPCC says its overall conclusions based on scientific studies about rapidly retreating, retreating glaciers are robust and are well-grounded in science. Well, joining us now from New York City is Dr. Manu Lal. He is head of the Columbia Water Center at Columbia University. Dr. Lal, thanks for being with us. It's nice to have you on. Hi, Susan. How are you? I'm um, well, thank you. How big a black eye is, is all of this for the IPCC? Uh, as a scientist, I don't really see this as a major issue because as far as the scientific evidence is concerned for warming and the effects of warming on glaciers, that's quite clear. Um, so in terms of the fact that these people made some mistakes in what they put down, that has to be separated from the basic facts that we have to see. So it does not affect the overall conclusion of the IPCC when it comes to global warming and the receding of the glaciers? Not at all. So, the, but the critics say this little paragraph is so riddled with errors that it calls the entire IPCC mm -hmm. process into question. You say, it, no, it does not. No, it is not. I think that if you are in a political position, it's typical for people to make these sort of statements. And I think those sort of things should be judged at the political platform. The science separated from it, yes, those paragraphs are not uh, necessarily correct. The challenge to this came from the Indian Minister for the Environment, Jairam Ramesh, and he cites a report which carefully documents uh, data collected by the Geological Survey of India on Himalayan glaciers starting in 1906 or thereabouts. And even in, though, even in that report, the predominant evidence is that glaciers have been retreating, albeit at different rates at different time periods, as would be expected from the physical evidence. Now, when you saw that original forecast, did you think this, this doesn't seem right? Yes. 2035 for most Himalayan glaciers to vanish did not make any sense. Um, I don't quite know how this person came up with that number. There is a story that there was a transposition of 2350 to 2035 uh, possible. Uh, there are glaciers around the world that will likely vanish by 2030, but uh, definitely not the, the entire Himalayan glacier system. So now, do, so now I guess the, the group will revise, they'll go back and do this review and they'll revise that paragraph and come up with a new forecast? I think so. You know, you have to keep in mind that uh, as far as glaciers go, glaciers can advance or retreat depending on how much precipitation or snow they are getting. They will definitely retreat as it gets warmer. And if there is dust, coal dust, for example, a thin layer of coal dust makes them melt faster. A thick layer is insulating. So there is a bunch of factors at play. So to sort this out is not necessarily trivial. But the basic fact is that the lower, in the lower elevations, as things get warmer, that ice will melt. There's not a whole lot to think about that particular issue. What we don't know is how high elevation precipitation may change in the future and what role that may play with the glaciers. So uh, from a scientific perspective, um, is this the canary in the mine? Possibly. But, uh, in terms of the overall story on glaciers and what they will do, that story will remain open. Right. So the no disputing, though, you believe uh, melting glaciers are still a problem for now creating lakes and the potential for, for floods and later a shortage of water. Absolutely. Okay. Dr. Manu Lal from Columbia University, thank you so much for lending your insight tonight. Thank you, Susan. We appreciate it.